So, Lee Poo. Yeah. You, you, my friend, are incredible. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to tell you, like, I never heard of you until a few weeks ago. And okay. I'm a big, big fan of counting cars. I love the count, love the crew. I've been watching them, you know, for the last few years. I had Danny on the show last year. Right. I love what he does. I, I love that style of show. I love what he does. And I, I saw the first couple, like, uh, you, the first two episodes. Like, I saw the thing, and I'm like, eh, and I, and I didn't give it a chance. And then the okay. third episode, yeah. I tuned in. And I was hooked uh-huh. instantly. I could not believe my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> for, it's just funny, you know. Of, it's just fun it, playing it, with the car. It, you are, first off, you're, you're just completely made for TV. I, I mean, oh, without a really? doubt. Yeah, you're, you I, I are a character for TV. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> What you do to cars is amazing. Uh, I, I mean, how long have you been doing this for? Ah, uh, years. Yeah, I mean, actually, uh, since teenage, um, I was like, this is my passion, and uh, since then, that's what I did. The cars, all I did, build cars, all I did, stop cars. That's what I've done in my life. Now, did you have like any training, or did you just like? Uh, well, actually. Uh, no, at the at the beginning, um, it's very interesting. I'll tell you a little in short. I, I I loved the Lamborghini when I first saw a Lamborghini in a motor show, and 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 I said, well, I gotta have this car. And only way I can have it, I, I asked my dad, and he was just like stared at me like that. I mean, are you crazy? You gonna sell me? If you didn't sell me, you're not gonna buy a, a tire for this. And I said, well, I gotta have. My, my, like then I said, well, why not? Well, I won't be able to make that money to buy one, but I can build one. So. I chopped a Volkswagen because it's, it has got a mid engine, but I, I can I got a Volkswagen, chopped it up, and uh, made my own frame and made my made my whole, whole whole body, and it looks like a Lamborghini. But I was satisfied. It was uh, when I was I was teenager, sixteen, seventeen years old. Since then, uh, once I built that, and also before I built that, I spent three 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 years at least studying and watching people working on cars, mechanically, body wise, reading books, magazines, and trying to uh, practice it on my own car. The car bought, my dad bought me the first car, and I've been working on it, taking the engine out, putting it in. And this is how I, I learned. And then um, um, I, I become a, 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 my, my, it's all self-study. You know, that's what I've done in my whole life. And then um, day after day, practice, know, know, know how, of the mechanicals, read books and magazines. And this is how I learned, that basically. Now that that first car that you had when you were a kid that you you made into your own Lamborghini, do you still have that car? Um, I don't have it because my dad and I came here to to uh, 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 study uh, other mechanicals, but I didn't do it. I mean, finally, but but I wanted to go back. Um, my dad, I said, yeah, you know what? If you want to build cars, if you want to deal with cars, America is the best place. But uh, I said, no, I'm going to go back and. Take that car apart, and I'll. You know, I attend a very school center here, uh, a technical uh, uh, vocational school in okay. Venice, in Los Angeles, and I, I, I actually learn how the proper way to uh, uh, body finish the car, paint the car, uh, fix the car. You know, and on top of uh, I have whatever I have learned from Bangladesh when I, in my country, and after that I become I'm become a very very uh, efficient, a very very highly technical person. My dad got that that he's now go back to go back to Bangladesh and take that whole car apart and do it do do everything right and and, and in Bangladesh if you deal with like if you're a car addict and if you're like I'm in my age and actually there's no scope to do that you you're a crazy man you don't do that <laughs> and he will he will he will do research and development he's not gonna earn money he's not gonna do study. And he will keep on like uh, working on that car. In Bangladesh, it's, it's a weird thing. In America, yeah, this is a car culture. You deal with car, you build car, you, you play with cars. In Bangladesh, no, you don't do it. So he sold the car for just just for nothing, just for a little money. And that's why I don't have the car. So uh, he sold the car because I mean the car is not going to be there, and I'm not going to go back. 
but I did go back and build another one. <laughs> what what kind of car was it originally? It was it was a Volk, it was a Volkswagen. I started with a, my own frame. Uh, I built a whole frame, my structure, the bottom, and everything. Then I found out that the frame is a very serious matter. And then what I've done, I took a Volkswagen. Actually, I uh, measured out of a Volkswagen, Volkswagen floor pan, uh, engine, and transmission. Then I replaced my fan with my plan of uh, uh, sorry, uh, the chassis with a Volkswagen one. So and so that it, it will be safe and drivable. And I, that's what I did, and it was driving wonderful. I've been driving a couple three years. Wonderful. Wow. Now, how about like um, something that was really big, probably in like I guess the eighties, nineties. I don't think they're really popular as much as they used to be. Was like kit cars. Were you ever into kit cars yes, at all? Yes. Yes. Oh yes. This is this is how I actually got that idea to make build cars. Kit car magazine that was so popular. Nowadays, I don't see them. Right. Uh, in my in my time. Kit car was the, the hottest thing you can get because the, a lot of people buy their kit cars instead of buying a Lamborghini for three hundred thousand dollar. You can get a kit for five five grand and and Pontiac Fiero or Volkswagen chassis or a custom built chassis. You uh, you buy the kit and you put it together or let 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 somebody put it to, put it together for you. At that time, it was the hottest thing in the whole world. The kit car that was my inspiration basically at the time. This is how I learned how to build the body, which chassis to choose, what kind of engine I can put in, in, in a Volkswagen or in a Pontiac Fiero, this sort of thing, man. I mean, I don't see them anymore. Why? No, no, I don't know. You know, I always wanted, probably like the most popular one was like uh, the Bradley GT. I always wanted the right, Bradley right, 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 right. Right, I know, I know, I know which one I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah but they, you, you can yeah, still you see them. You, you can still buy them. Yeah, it's, it's called... Uh, uh, you can still buy those cars. They're sometimes you up and sell in the, in the Craigslist or somewhere somewhere else. I've seen them. Yeah, but they're very demandable. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. That is wild. Now, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. When you, I mean, you started this in in, in Bangladesh, your home country, but you also started right. uh, like reality. You were a reality TV star there as well. You had uh, the show yes. Bangla yes. Bangers. Bangla Bangers for, for Discovery Channel. Yes, I started from Bangladesh and then moved to uh, London and and started the Chop Shop, London, and then two seasons and then you know Credit Crunch because of the financial breakdown of the whole world, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, broadcaster couldn't uh, commission any more series, uh, so it's been for four or five years and then you know, we started here and again. Wow. Now, how did you get filmed? Like, how did they come to you to do a show around you? Originally, uh, originally uh, I was I was exposed in electronic and print medias because of my work. You know, like a kid from Bangladesh built Lamborghinis. I, I build I build a Ferrari F fifty uh, lookalike one. I build okay. a limousine. I build uh, a lot of exotic cars. Uh, then uh, I was I was in the news national news press medias television and stuff. And then then uh, went to AFP. AFP reporter came to my house. To do interview and uh, for the for the uh, AFP and the, from AFP, a BBC called called up uh, called me up and I uh, would like to wanted like to do an interview. Then finally, BBC has done an interview in the uh, uh, BBC World News to the World News. Wow! After that, uh, uh, BBC's uh, 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 at that time he was the head of uh, BBC Bangladesh or no Southeast Asia. He uh, wrote an article about me about an eight page article on an intersection magazine. And oh, what, what, one of the guys, his name is Bart Glayton from Raw TV. In a, in a, in a Starbucks coffee shop, one, one of his friends, so he's a creative director. And he's throwing okay. him, him uh, my, my magazine and say, hey, Bart, there's a nice story for you. And Bart read it and got my number from BBC, called me up, said, Lee, who would like to do a, a documentary on your work. Uh, you build like, uh, supercars, like uh, we'll give you a Renault to make it a, a Porsche or a Ferrari or Lamborghini. I said, well... Um, there was a very interesting turning point in that eight-page article. Two letters or one sentence caught my eye that a first, a first world's first-class supercar faker. I said, <laughs> well, I, haven't sp I didn't spend my whole life to, become a, to make fake cars. And he also mentioned you can get uh, anything from Lipu, a Lamborghini to Ferrari to, to uh, um, any, any cars. 
But you right. can get lipu too. You can get lipu from lipu too. That word, oh my God. So that means I'm going to design my own car. I'm not going to design a car which is like, like stealing somebody else's uh, artwork or, you know. And right. I don't want to be right. a copycat. And then I, I, I said, I promised myself I will never uh, uh, look, make a look-alike car. And a lot of people at the time, I was, no, I was very well known in Bangladesh, very wealthy son, sons of, of, of wealthy fathers, that I will give you whatever you want, make me a McLaren, make me this, because in Bangladesh, you can never, ever, even if you buy it, you can import, import them. You can get them in the, in, the, in the country. And I promised myself, I'm never, I'm never going to, I don't, I, I'll go die without, without money, without food, but I'll never, ever copy any car because this is not what I'm meant to do. And I don't want to ruin my life. I spent so much, so much time in my life to, to be, to be, uh, to be me, Lipu. And that's what I yeah. found in that, in, in, in the writing. And I said, no. And then when Bart from Raw TV, which is now a discovery owned company, he said, okay, whatever you like, we'll give you a car, turn into a Ferrari. I said, no. If I do a show, I can do a show, but I'll do my own design, otherwise not. Then Bart was even more happier. This is how we started. <laughs> That's it. Wow. Now, when all this started, like, happening for you and taking off, like, when you started getting the attention and uh, the interviews and then you're being approached by TV, like, you had to be shocked. Did you, I mean, you never, like, did you really well, ever expect any of that to happen? Well, actually, honestly, no, I never, I never, I never thought of being in, in a TV. Never thought. But, I don't know, some, uh, per, it's like a permanent, or you could say, um, I had it on all my mind that I'll be very you know, well known uh, because of my work someday. I knew it. Right. But I never even, even thought of going to a TV. No, I'll be well known for my work. It was it was in my heart. I knew that because success will be will be there. But I, how long? Uh, it might have to work twenty years down the um, down the line, and and then might might be uh, my success will come. But I never thought of TV uh, doing TV. But once uh, I'm getting all the attractions, uh, from all the attention from medias and stuff, and I become more I getting into media, more I become serious because I don't want to ruin my name. I don't want to. I don't want to. And I'm, I'm become more and more serious about my work because usually media means you're famous. People say, "Ah, oh, you're a celebrity, you're famous." No, it's not me. It's my car. It's my work. If my That's work right. is not there, I my, lipu means nothing. If my work is nice, people love me because of my work. People doesn't love me because uh, my, my my face is on TV. People love me because they see my see my work and they see what I do. This is why. Like, this is why. After and I'm going, I'm getting attention from the media and stuff, and I'm getting more and more serious about my work. And actually, well, TV, I, I, uh, yeah, actually the TV and the media ma made me uh, more successful because um, I, I can I can make cars in a very short period of time. I can think very fast. I can imagine really really quick. And otherwise, it, to build a car, it was it used to take a year, one year, one and a half year, two years. But now I can build a car in two weeks. A, a design. Just get the design and and, 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 and and get it done. You know, it, it, it of course it needs needs a lot of work like painting this and that. But I can get my design done in a couple of weeks. Done. So that's how faster because I am on TV. That is incredible. Now, yeah. and, and a lot of people like uh, for people like myself, you know, here in America that are just discovering you, uh, thanks to the Leepu and Pippo show. They really mm -hmm. need like I went back and I watched um I watched the very first episode of Bangla Bangers and I watched right. uh, an episode of Chop Shop yesterday and the episode of Bangla right. Bangers just completely blew me away because you guys literally took a junk car basically off the street it looked like this yes. thing looked like it was abandoned yes. for years and turned yes. it into that red car and, and right. It, it's amazing the transformation you guys did. Like, I was trying to explain, because my wife loves cars, too. We, we both love cars. And right. we watch it right. every Tuesday. Right. And I was explaining it to her, because she didn't watch it with me. And then I went and showed her the before and after, and she was just right. mouth open, blown <laughs> away. So people really need to go back and watch them episodes. And to really right. also, with the episode of Chop Shop I watched, it was the one where you guys – just went to a junkyard, you picked out an yes. old BMW, you were rebuilding right. it, 
and then it burned down in the it caught fire and burned down. Yes. And the emotion yeah. you yeah. had, you can tell it wasn't no oh. uh, BS. It was real. No. No. Where you were no. just hysterical no. crying like you lost a child. Exactly. I mean, it it, it it just just ruined my burned my heart. I mean, you know, every car I do, I got because I got I have to have like full emotion to the, to the car. When I build a car, in in the, nothing nothing in the whole world gets in, lives in my head. Only that car. It's just like being a mom, you know. And honestly, at the time I build a car, I think my wife, my kids, my mom, dad, no friends, nobody stays in my head, in my heart. Only that car, only that design, only that. So it it the whole thing takes over my heart and my head. So of course it's emotional. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a movie. It's a real life. It's my real life. When I work, that's me. I'm working. Right. So it, it, if my, if if I don't put my all the heart and emotion to it, it's not gonna happen. It's an artwork. And it was yeah. that, that moment was you know that was the first episode in London for for Discovery Channel, and my my emotion was way too high because the first time I'm building a car for the television in London, what and I was worried what's gonna happen then. I already finished up the sure. first car, first design, and it was so hard. And it's, it's it's all done. I thought this is this is the end of the whole thing, my end of my life, because my first car is gone. That is the end of my life. And and, and honestly, that was that was that was right. a real real uh, emotion. I, it, it came out from me. I I would tell you what I was so bummed too because once you guys put the spacers on them, I was like, this car is going to be so badass looking. And then when the <laughs> fire happened, I was like, I was sitting there myself going, no, 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 oh. <laughs> And that was real. We've been filming in uh, Heathrow Airport, and all of a sudden, uh, uh, we got a call that uh, I, I didn't know what happened now, until I, I went to the garage. Nobody told me. I said something has happened. I said somebody got hurt or something. When I walked on on the door of the garage, oh my god! I mean, I didn't. I, I have no idea what happened. What happened there? I said somebody died or somebody got in, injured because the, our team work was team teammates were working. But I didn't know. When I saw, just saw the cars all burned, ashes, that was my reaction. Wow. Wow. But, yeah. You know, if you don't <laughs> love anything, like, it, it's all affection, all love. It's, it's in, yeah. in love your heart. Like, if you love your wife, you love your girlfriend, well, if you really love something, really, you have to, it has to come from your heart, not from, from your brain. Oh, sure. I love it. I like it. No, I love it, which is, comes from heart. And it's, it, 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 if it doesn't really consist with the heart, it doesn't involve with the heart, that's not love. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Now, the car is same thing. Yeah. Once you yeah. started, um, uh, you know, the, the, the Lipu name and the word of you started growing, was, uh, was the goal to come to America? Was that ever a goal in your sights? Oh, no. Um, actually, I, I lived in America in the 90s. Uh, almost six, seven years. I I went back to Bangladesh. Um, okay. You can ask why. This is very interesting. And I had a body shop. I finished a uh, technical school here in Beniskill Center, okay. and uh, my dad was here. And uh, I was trying to always my mo- major. I mean, I was running a body shop, but I was more into research and development. Uh, always, I had a few more one, two, three projects, and right next to that, and after business hour, after six o'clock. I used to start working on my own car till four or five o'clock in the morning. Wow. And my dad was so mad and come on, you, you, he, he, he could see, I, mean, I could make tons of money. And I have so much interest, like, like just for instance, I can tell you, my, I, the fastest I made, and in one hour I made $5,000 because there was a car damage, I'm a very good frame specialist. Very, very talented man. Um, there was a frame damage car. Um, if you know how to twist the frame, how to straighten the frame, it took me an hour, which is a, a seven days, a 10 days job, usually. It took me an hour. Frame is damaged, the body, you know, I mean, nobody can tell. And the frame is perfect, but $5,000. My dad was like, what, an hour, five grand? <laughs> and he was, he, was trying to, he was trying to protect me, not being distracted with my projects. And he saw those projects. My dad actually educated here in America. In 1956, he was graduated from Middleton Academy in Massachusetts. He was into car too, but I'm too much into cars. And he saw 
Custom carism that it takes years and years of time, but pays you nothing. And he tried to uh, guide me so that I can earn more money and make my more life secure. But I'm not, I wasn't into, into that. I was into more into uh, my own projects. Um, after business hour, I was spending all the time in the cars. Then um, um, I, I had a problem with my dad. I said, well, dad, this, this, is, a lot, this is what I am. I want, to, I want to build something. And he said, well, no. You, I mean, you save money, enough money, then you work on your own projects. I said, Dad, I mean, how, when? It might take 10 years, or, or I might get, get, get lost from my, from my passion. Sure. Anyway, so after that, I've been, I've been working on my car, uh, classic car restoration. I, I've done so much classic car restoration because cl- rest, restoring classic car gives you a depth experience inside the automobile in the, uh, industry or automobile, automotive thing. And you learn the, the core, in, you go into the core when you restore uh, 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 classic cars. And, and it gives you all kinds of uh, uh, high, uh, like high, high, skill, uh, high skills from, from those, because to, to restore a car properly, the body, the frame, the structure, the, uh, the uh, uh, detail of it, you know, the original, how was the original form of the original car, you, got, you get to know the car, every little bit and pieces. Every little uh, emblems, every little uh, um, uh, you know um, moldings, you know those moldings, chromes, they give you the depthness of of of, of uh, art, of, of, of like car art. So I, I was I was doing that for a long time. At some point, I found out that uh, if I stay in the U.S., I have to switch my I have to give up my passion because once you're in the automotive business. So, like, if you're if you're in a different kinds of a, a, a career profession, you can you can have time a week a day in a week or a day in a month to work on your own own project. But being in the automotive industry, you are in the car already. How could you get a spare time for your your own car? You can't because you're doing the same thing. Then I found out that I need more time to uh, work on my own passion. Um, only way I can do that in America. End of the end of the month, I have to account uh, uh, all the money for rent, well, for bills, credit cards, this, that, blah, 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 blah. You have to come up with everything at the end of the month to keep your uh, credit and everything good. Otherwise, if if it is, if, if you're if you can't do it, you're dead. You're gone. Yeah. Then I thought, well, I I need a cheaper, cheaper place where I don't have to have to have uh, all these responsibilities. I need so that I can more time into my projects. Only, only, only place I could find out, go back to Bangladesh. There's nothing, this time has no value. Okay. And I did went back to Bangladesh and there I, I mean, full time, all, all my projects, all my passion. Um, I did start, start with repairing cars. It was a very hard life, the beginning. But one, once I'm known, oh my God, I had whole city, whole country was my client. So uh, I, I was, I was 100% full time for for five, four or five years, I was just building body kits, you know, body kits, which is yeah. made of fiberglass. I was made, made making out of metal. And body kits, like serious body kits. And I would make it in a week, which would take, uh, like basically, I was making a mold for, for one design and, and giving it to the client, which is usually, you make a mold, which is metal or anything or clay, and make a mold, and then you uh-huh. just pop fiberglass in and out, right? And I was wow. building, I was building real metal body kit for each cars every day, every day. And then, then customizing cars, then bigger clients coming in, bigger clients coming in. Somebody wants a Ferrari F50. Can you make it a copy? Can you make a line? This is how I started. And full time I was working on, I was living, I'm living in my dream, which is building cars. This is what happened to my life. And then, oh, and then I came back two years ago here. Just. Uh, just exactly not two years, one month left, two years, and I was uh, uh, given the the highest uh, immigration honor from the United States government, which is uh, which is you have to have like you, they says I have achieved the highest uh, 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 like I'm the best of the best in my field, right? And this is called E11, which is usually given to like John Lennon. And all these big, big uh, artists, big you know, uh, scientists, where where uh, they they call it national interest waiver. 
because they think he's going to be an asset to this country. And you need nothing. Right away, they give you uh, uh, the citizenship and everything. So that's what I got uh, two years ago. And this, uh, well, this is how I, I'm here again in, in America. Wow. Now, how did you, um, how did the whole thing come with you and Pitbull hooking up and doing the TV show? Well, um, you know, the Raw TV, which is Sam Maynard, um, uh, who made the first Bangla Banger? You know the, the red car you saw? Yes. Sam, Ma- Sam Main, the Maynard from Raw TV, who is the, who, who is the uh, head of factual in the U.S., he, has, he, has, he was the executive producer. He, he's done that first two episodes in Bangladesh. And since then, we know each other very well. Uh, uh, I'm a, and, and a Chop Shop in London. He wasn't involved in the Chop Shop, but he was, he's, the, he's the, actually the, I would say, founder of my work. He, he has done seen each, each and every little bits and pieces I've done. And he was the uh, main uh, executive producer and director of two, two episodes. He was always in, in, in touch with me. Uh, once I got my um, um, immigration done, um, and he knows about it, and he was following me, and then uh, he knew Ch- uh, uh, um, Pitbull, which is Steve, Steve Timboli. Okay. And this is how, uh, this is how, and he found Steve, Steve, Steve Timboli is a very interesting character for, w- with me. And since Leap was in America, why not we start another series? And then we start talking. He called Steve. I, I don't know. He, 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 Steve, and then we, we, we met once uh, last year, and this is how we started. Wow. Now, were you nervous about it? I mean, because uh, here you are. You're, you're going to be starting this show with Steve, and you really don't know him. You don't know if you can work together with him. You know what I mean? You, if you can coexist. Yeah. So, uh, does that make well, you nervous at all going into it? Uh, no. I mean, actually – you know, when when it comes to building cars, I don't I don't I don't consider any other things because I, I don't think it is the only thing I I'm gonna build a car. That's it. So there's no nervousness, nothing. This is only me. I mean, I'm I'm kind of selfish. Not kind. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm I'm selfish. When it comes to building cars, I care nothing in the whole world. Who's next to me? Who's behind me? Who's in front of me? Who's who? I have no idea. I don't care. I'm happy that I'm building cars. But in the TV, I mean, Steven, no, it, I, it doesn't even get in my head. Only thing is in my head, I'm building cars. That's all. Um, I, think, I think about my imagination, our, our inspiration, uh, or the cars. That, that's all. Nothing else. So, so it doesn't matter, I mean, who I'm working with, uh, who, uh, where I'm working, uh, where I'm working, I'm building cars. It's a universal thing. That's all I count. That's all it comes to me. That's all. It doesn't matter if it's in America, it's in Bangladesh, it's in, in London, it's in, in the moon and Mars. I'm building cars. That's all it comes to me. That's all. Yeah. Now, which, uh, off of this season, uh, the first season of uh, Lee Poo and Pitbull, which car was your favorite one that you built? That's a very tough. I mean, a, a lot of people ask me the same question, but hey, every little car, every little design doesn't matter. Some, some people like this car, some I like that, that one the most. This one. For me, all my brainchild, all my love. So it's hard to differentiate. How could you uh, differentiate about your kid, your son, your daughter? Yeah. Well, I, I right. like him most. I like her the most. No, these are all your child. These are all my brainchild. All my it comes from my heart. So I mean, it's the, every car is different. You have seen all no none of my cars look same or the, the pattern or type. No, because they are all totally different. And how could I say right. well, okay? Which okay? There's two two Mustangs. Same year, same thing, a, a different color, a different um, uh, interior, different rims, different engine. Which one do you like the most? Oh, I like this one because this one has a powerful engine more than that. There has to be, there has to be some uh, you know, scale of measuring why you love them the most. But in my case, all kinds of cars are different. All in, 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 like inspiration are, are different. So I can love all my cars. I, I tell you what, the one with the one Mustang uh, for the guy's wife, when you were trying to make it like a Cobra, right. that right. that episode is so great because you, you the whole time with the whole Cobra, it's going to bite yeah. like a Cobra. It's just it's hysterical. You were hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, all this cars. Yeah. I mean, if you say each and every episode, you say, I like this. I like this. A lot of people ask me, even, even what, what I would do in the production. Which one? Which one is your favorite? So, well, I don't know. I don't know. Even though I mean, I built so far like uh, hundred cars, hundred. 
60, 70, 80 cars, I don't remember, all together in my whole life. Every car are different. And I can't say exactly where, we, but yes, some, some, okay, now, some, uh, some, um, um, more memories, like some events are, are like a little more, more interesting, more touchy. I would say I like the Eagle most because that was my first, you know, always your first born, your first born in the family gets the most, most attention. Right. As, as a kid, as your, as your, as your, uh, you know, so my, my like my, I have my old, old daughter, but she's, she's the oldest. And okay. she's, she's always, 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 she came first in my life, in my empty life. She was the first one. So she got the most attention from my, from my life. And of course, so same thing, the, the first season of, of in America is a big, of course, is a big event in my life. I'm in America, this is the top of the world, and I'm making a TV show. Oh my God, I'm, I'm from Bangladesh. This is, this is something really, of course, of course it touches my heart. And first episode as an eagle, of course, that, that, that's, that's really important where I started my career in America. Eagle, I like the eagle. I like the uh, ranchero one, like the second one. I like it. I like it. I like it better because uh, New York Motor Show it's, it's a dream for somebody to attend, and I, I attended with my with my design, which is this is another very important thing. I mean, this way you can categorize, but I can say I like that one most, not this one, like not first, second, third, but every every car has their own different uh, emotions involved in, with, with my life. Right. Now, how about your family, like uh, your wife and your children? Uh, are, are they car lovers as well? Well, nowadays, yeah, of course they love cars. But when I started, most important thing, um, my wife, I was get, I was, I was, I got married in, in Bangladesh, and I got married. Most important thing, I, I never, I didn't see my wife. I mean, this is how the culture goes over there. But only thing is, and my grandpa, who was about hundred years old, almost, yeah, yeah. He chose the girl for me. I went, I went back from America, from the United States, and he chose the girl, and I was busy. He said, you know what? The, the, uh, the dream you want to achieve, you need a good partner, not just a wife. You need a good partner who can right. understand you and help you to get to the dream. Because once you get married, if, if partnership doesn't work, you will never get this. Like, 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 you know, if you, your wife sure. has to understand your emotion. Otherwise, you, you, you will, you'll never be successful. He said, well, you know what? I can see, I have 100 years of old eye. I can see a human mind inside. Right. By looking at her, by listening to them, I can, I can judge the person from inside. But as a young eye like you, when you see a pretty woman, Use your eye, your vision stops right on the skin of the of the woman, and you don't you don't get to know her. You don't get inside. This is a mistake right. you do. Give me this opportunity to make your dream car. If you want to be successful in the automotive world, you want to be a great car designer. Help me, son. I'm a grand, grandson. Help. Let me help you to get there. And honestly, I listened to him, and he. Uh, I got married, and this wife, my wife, she sacrificed that like, today. She never, she never bothered me and kept me everything away from me so that I can concentrate on work, work, work. That's what I've done so far. And, and, and this, is, this is why I'm, I'm here today. I would say 50% of my achievement is owned by my wife. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, well, I, I hey, mean, I mean, yeah, without this, this is very important. Like, if, if your partner doesn't, you know, you know, you know, you know uh, help you or, uh, like uh, like share with you, it never happens. I totally agree, I, and it's, I, I can say t the same thing about my wife. Like I, I come up with a lot of, uh, and she'll even say, you've come up with a lot of harebrained schemes over your uh, over the time we've been married. We're coming up on eighteen years, and uh, right. she's like, I've supported you in every one. And I'm like, you know what? Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, <it's> <laughs> I don't know how you have, but you have. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Correct. So I, with, with the show and everything now here in America, I, I mean, things really got to be getting probably busier for you. I mean, do you have a lot of people now coming to you that build cars? Well, um, what, we've done the show. I mean, this is the first season. Uh, I mean, people don't know actually what's going on there. But I, my, 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 my Facebook, my email, uh, my God, I, I, I don't want to open them because 
you know, I, I mean, it's now piled. I mean, oh my God, oh my God, thousands of thousands of requests. Um, uh, mostly, uh, uh, they want to be in the TV. They, everybody has their unique, uh, different uh, stories about it. And I, I, I read them. I mean, I can't read. I mean, okay, just if I leave like a few hours, it piles up about a couple hundred, hundred, hundred uh, requests, emails. I cannot read them. And nowadays, like at least last four days, I couldn't, I couldn't actually just get on the email and the Facebook. Oh my God, I won't be able to open it. It's over thousands, thousands, thousands. Um, wow. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I, right now since the, the season is off, I'm just away from everything. No cars, nothing. I'm just away from everything. Huh. And I'm scared. I'm scared to get in there because, uh, and of course, I mean, oh my God, you know, um, a lot of stories in, in, in people's, oh my, I would like to, I, I feel like I built everybody a car. Everybody, everybody, you know, right. I love to do that. Yeah, every, every, everybody has a unique story. I mean, a lot of people are like, I, 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 I become paralyzed. I, I got this car. I, I mean, oh my God, the stories are, Sometimes I, I feel I, I cry. Oh my God! People have so much like uh, pain in their life. Serious. I never heard so many stories so far. After this series, just five episodes on there, I can I can see pe people's life. Oh, just that one little car can bring all the joy for the rest of the life. Yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely. It's amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, and it's funny too because I, I said to my wife, I said. I can go buy a car. Like I, I actually work uh, in the car business. I for uh, I'm like a, an internet guy for a car dealership. So uh, right. I have cars coming in and out all day. I'm like I could take a car right. that we get traded in that's a complete hunk of crap and just mm -hmm. buy it for a few hundred hours and bring it to Leap mm -hmm. and say work your magic. <laughs> like I, I don't even yeah. care. Just, Give it the Lipu touch. I, I'm like, and he would turn it into a piece of gold. It, it would be a work of art. I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah, work of art. Yeah, I would rather say it's a work of art. Yeah. It's not just to just drive, drive it around, but it's a work of art. Yes. Now, how about you? It's handmade. What, yeah. What kind of car do you drive? Ah, what a question. You know what? Since um, I made my first car, I was, I was a, a very crazy for Lamborghini and Ferraris when I was really very young. Uh -huh. After I built that copy of the Lamborghini, and I, I mean, gradually everything went away. And now, if you say what is what's, what car I, car I drive, I, I drive I, I drive a car where it takes me from point A to point B. Okay, um, I don't have time to drive a car. Since I, I'm hooked up with my, my with my this, this trade or profession or whatever, I have no fascination to drive a car. I love to uh, like I like to fulfill the people who will, comes to me uh, to uh, to build them in their car. I like to fulfill the, those. All those cars are mine. All those cars are mine. I don't drive any fancy car. I don't have time for it. I mean, I have no emotion for it anymore. Only thing I build one after the other, one after the other, and I see people driving it. They're happy. That's what it makes makes my life. I drive a regular car, regular, nothing special. A, a right now, an Acura 92, Acura Legend, just to get point A to point B. I fix the engine by my, my myself. I rebuild the engine. I, I bought an old car, um, and I, I, there was a lot of problem with the car. I bought it for 700 bucks when I got here in the U.S., and I saw the dealership next to me. I said, well, if I buy one of those, what am I going to do with it? Just drive it? Because I need to work on my car. I, this is a great satisfaction. When you fix your car and it runs good, and you feel like you have to achieve something, it's, it's, it's the most fun of it. And you drive it. If you, if you buy a car, well, for me, because I'm into, into car and I say, well, I can fix it. I can do this design. I can, I can change a little bit. You know, it, every little, little uh, effort to, to make the car run good or look good, it, it, gives, it gives you so much I mean, like pleasure and fun that I'm driving something I work for. I made it running for good and it runs good fantastic so it's good okay what 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 the car does what does it need it needs the oil change it needs uh, a little bit more attention okay check it out look at it like it, it, it it's wonderful i don't want to drive a brand new car i want to drive i always want to buy a car i'll fix it and i'll drive it wow maybe I'm in the future maybe i'm um, sorry i'm blown away by that i would figure you yeah. would have like a fleet of different like Lipu productions 
No, uh, no, no. I, I had, I had in Bangladesh, uh, I had uh, some eight, ten cars, which all that by me. But I, I, I didn't have time to drive them. I don't have time to drive them. But here, I just got here. Um, eventually, um, because I'm moving around, I'm from um, Idaho to New York, New York to, and then uh, the new show start going on. Um, eventually, I might have some cars. I mean, I don't plan to. Uh, well, I've seen uh, everybody in the, in the movie or TV industry. They came in and they have a fleet, a big fleet of cars. I, I love cars too, and I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, maybe in the future I'll. Well, I, I I don't think so because I'll be busy building cars for the people. How can I build cars for me? I won't be able to do it, and I don't mind for it because if the people the cars people are happy with their cars, I'm happy. Right. I'm I I can't spend time for myself. My 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 life, my 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 talent or my my creativity is for the people. That's what I think. It's not for me. And be, building them cars, giving them pleasure and and happiness, it's my happiness. It's my pleasure. That's it. Same thing. Cars being with me and with somebody else is better than with somebody else because a lot of people are enjoying it. A lot of people are having fun with it. That's amazing. I see. I, 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 if I, I totally, I totally got you wrong because if I was you, I know myself. Like I, I love cars too. I would have a hundred cars if I could have it. Like I would love to go well, buy a warehouse and just fill it up with cars. <laughs> well, that, I mean, oh, I mean that's that's what I said that I, I, I the same prof- I, I work in the same profession, car, car. I build, I, I, my, I build cars for the people. I can, I can build car, car, car for, for myself. So being working in the same profession, I, you, know, you know, that's what I said. If you have a different kind of profession where you don't build cars, uh, uh, you, you probably sell cars, you deal with cars, but um, uh, it's different. Like, I build cars. So I'm one person, I'm one Lipu, and building car at the same time, I cannot build two cars, one for me, one for the other, other person. No, I, ha- I, I can build one car at a time. And my time in building cars is so much involvement Emotionally, physically, mentally, how can I just like I I don't have time to think for myself. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. I don't have time to think for myself. And 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 building the car is the same as for me or for the other person. It's same pleasure. I'm building a car. Right. So it's the same thing to me. It doesn't have to be in my garage. It can be somebody else's garage. But that's my creation. That that's my baby. So it doesn't matter. Now, my all-time favorite car, and I've owned three of them, is the Corvette. What, what's your feelings about the Corvette? Well, Corvette's a great car. I'm like, um, I like most the, the uh, Stingray, uh, uh, the 60, 64, 65. Uh-huh. The Stingray with the split window at the back, that's an right. amazing car. Well, of course, new car, new Corvettes are okay, great, but I love classic cars the most. I mean, that's Stingray, and, and also another one is... Um, the five or fifty six with the convertible roundish okay. kind of thing. Uh huh. Ah, oh, awesome, awesome design, awesome design, awesome. Wow. Um, Leap you, you blow me away. Really, I could sit for cars <laughs> with you all day long. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing, but I don't yeah. want to hold you up all day long. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a lot of stuff to do. I, I can, I can talk to you. I got nothing to do right now. I'm just having a relax. I'm just having a little vacation. <laughs> I can talk about cars. Well, actually, I, for, last, for, last, uh, since I finished the episodes, I, I only watch my shows once, and I don't think about cars. But now I feel like, yeah, I'm alive. I'm not dead. <laughs> well, so how, how much time are you feeling? taking I'm, off I'm, right I'm, now? Sorry? How much time are you taking off right now before you get back into the, the heat of things? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I actually, I just moved to New, uh, Los Angeles um, from Idaho. I'm, I'm settling down with my family, uh, taking care of the house, uh, household stuff, buying all this. I'm very busy. Uh, last, I, I moved here um, Thursday, yeah, last Thursday, yeah. And okay. since Thursday, I'm just walk, I'm just settling down my family. I'm buying whole, whole household appliances, this and that. What do you need? Washing machine, freezer, cooker. You need a rice cooker. You need this. You need that. You need that uh, furniture. You need bed. We already buy, I'm buying all this stuff. Like I'm completely spending time with the home, with my wife and my kids, just uh, settling down house. It's all about house right now. 
So I'm having fun in a different way. I'm, I'm spending time with my, you know, since the last six, uh, four or five months in New York, my family was in Idaho and I, I, they, they visited me. I visited once in a uh, couple of days. Uh, actually, I couldn't uh, spend time with them. Now I'm 100% with the family, 100%. All family things, only family means not only that, all household. I'm inside the house. What do you need? Uh, 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 a vacuum cleaner. Or you need a... Uh, 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 Kitchen uh, stuff, uh, you know, crockeries. You need uh, like, uh, like uh, all everything. I'm with the wife and kids. That's it. <laughs> so, uh, does, does Steve like have a lot of people come into his shop, come looking for you now to meet you? Um, well, I, I left after right after I left right after the uh, episode film film finished, and Steve told me he's going nuts. He said, "Well, Lipu, I'm in a in the middle of nowhere where I mean, you guys left me alone in in a." I don't know. He said, dude, I, I'm going nuts. People looking for you, looking for me, coming to the same garage, I'm going nuts. And he is in a really bad shape right now. <laughs> because I believe now it. people know exactly. Yeah, he's going, he's, going, he's going crazy. He said, you guys left me, he left me in, 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 a, in a war zone. Like people are just like driving him crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I even said to my wife, I'm like, damn. I'm like, they're only about two, two and a half hours away. We should take a ride up there one day, see if we can meet them. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Steve is the one oh, taking that's... all the pains right now. <laughs> people, oh, people, um, to me, people, people reaching me through email and Facebook, I mean, it doesn't bother me that much if I don't look at it, but I'd love to, uh, like to return everybody. Uh, but so much mail, I mean, oh, my God. I, I won't be catching up with them no more, no way. It's already been a 10 to 10 to 10,000 already. <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to do I'll catch up with them. But but I, I already said I, I like uh, thank you very much, but I'll let you know. But but not every email. But Steve is facing the war. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you left him to fight the war alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's I mean, did did you like at, at I mean, the show is a success. I mean, you guys are doing good in the ratings. I saw you guys posted something the other day, you're like yes. top ten for the week and um I mean, did you ever think about maybe living in New York and doing it full time with Steve? Well, um, if 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 the show is successful, actually, the show means what? Um, I, I look at it that way. If the, the car we're building are really appreciable uh, by the people, and they really love it, and the show will go on. And the, the show depends on on the on the on the work we do and the, our our relationship and the, you know this thing. Uh, it's not that easy. You make a show, a uh, kind of show you want to make uh, or script it or no, because this is it's a reality TV pretty much. And the the cars we're doing, we're built, we're design, redesigning new cars every little every new episodes. This is kind of wild, really wild. How how could you do that? But for me, right. I mean, it was a kind of impossible. It's, it's kind of impossible, impossible thing. How could you do for every episode you redesign a car, give a good a, a new character to a car, existing car, new character completely? Yeah. But I love it, and I'm I, I feel like it's endless, uh, like like an ocean. I can do it. I can carry on. Yes, if it is successful, not just to make make a show. Show is all about our, our work, our our building cars. Yeah. So I, I would say. Yes, I will keep on building cars. This this is my, 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 my life. I will keep on building cars till I die. Not the TV show. This, the, the, the process makes the show. My, yeah. my building cars makes, the process makes the TV show and our interaction. But I'm not actually making the TV show. I'm making cars. Yeah. But so, you make yeah, this is my life. And, yeah, that's it. I'm not making the show. I'm making cars. So I'll keep on doing it my whole life. That's it. This is, my, this is, this is what I do. This is what I love. I'll just keep on building cars. Keep on building cars. Doesn't matter where it goes. I don't need none, none, none of those cars, but I'll keep on building cars and make people happy. That's it. Well, I'll tell you what. You're not building me a car, but you're still making me happy. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Great pleasure. Great one, pleasure. One day, I hope to have you build me a car. I hope you do. I will. I, that's what I do. I mean, if I have an opportunity, yes, I. why not? Well, I will. I will keep on building cars. I mean, no matter what, no, no, um, there's no, um, like, uh, for me, um, there's no, uh, like, a, uh, like a lottery thing. Okay. If you pick a lottery, if you, no, whoever comes, I mean, if I have the opportunity, I'll build a car. I, there's no matter, I, there's no, uh, like scrutiny. There's no going through any process. 
I can, I'll keep on building cars. I mean, I'll, if, if I can build a car, I'll be happy because I've been talking to you for a long time, and I'm I'm, I'm becoming a friend, and of course, I'll, I'll, I'll be building a car. No problem. The the one thing too though that, that that's really mind blowing about the whole thing with your the, both you and Steve with these uh, cars you are building is the price. Yeah. I, I mean, in reality, you guys could be charging probably three times as much as what you're charging, if not more. I mean, you guys, well, the prices you're charging are so reasonable. I mean, actually, you know what? Custom car means, uh, you know, any custom car is out of reach. It's, it's a dream for the rest of the people. It's like a dream. I mean, hey, I mean, say out of out of uh, like 100 people, I mean, 10 people have, have, have the money to buy a right. car like uh, which, uh, 100,000, 50,000, 40,000, 60,000. But in average, uh, average is like um, average people doesn't have that much money. And always, it, it, it's just a dream for them. Oh, just watching, dream, dream. Why not? If, if, if I can build a car for myself, uh, uh, why, why not? Uh, but like, it, 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 I'm like, everybody has dream. Why the dream is always all on the peak of the mountain? The dream is always peak of the mountain. You just look up there. Oh, I wish I could have one someday. I mean, wish. Yeah. But uh, it can be it can be other way around. I can say, say it's like a sale. Okay. Um, for now, now the two, three years, four years, five years, um, it's for, it's for is it affordable. We understand yeah. um, the price. I mean, in real life, of course, price margin is a little less, but it all depends. Uh, you know, um, it's, it's a, it's, this has a two a two different types of uh, perspective. Like one is make people happy and make them uh, understand that yes, dream can come true for everybody if you if you want. Like in an average, like not everybody in the whole world or not in the everybody it would be in the United States, but if if somebody says, "Oh, he's got a car," like uh, like other shows, uh, uh, car is more expensive, like say hundred thousand dollars. Oh, they yeah. w- watch the whole thing and just they love it. Oh, beautiful car. Oh, wish I could have one. But say you you got ten thousand dollars or twelve thousand dollars. Oh, I can get one, and somebody already got it. And the crazy, oh, he got it. I can get one too. So. This is two different kinds of perspective or feelings. Watching a hundred thousand car build and watching a ten thousand dollar car build, which pretty much most of the people can afford, and it gives the, those people. I won't be able to build cars for everybody, but it's make everybody's dream come true. Oh, I can I can make my dream come true. I can make a, I can have a custom car too. So right. watching a, a, another person having a car for ten thousand dollars, giving another person. And other t- types of, uh, of happiness and satisfaction, and yes, I can have one too. Not just like the dream. Ah, uh, wish. No, there's no wish. I can have one. He's got one. I can have one. This is to, or, or the process of building these cars. The way I'm, I'm building, it gives them insight. Or a lot of people have. I mean, a lot of people emailing me, uh, sending messages about their their own projects, and they said, Leepu, you have opened my eye about my projects. I've been doing this project for two years, three years." Wow. Five years, one year, but I had no idea how easy to do the metal work. And then it, you have opened my eyes, opened our eyes. I mean, I'm so happy. The people who have everybody in America, every, pretty much everybody, I would say, not everybody, but average everybody has their own project, project car. This is what the yeah. life is all about. That's like a baby. And yeah. everybody's working for a one day a week, or I, that's why I say one day a week, just spend one day a week or uh, one, uh, one day in a month. Mm-hmm. It's just like for, for, for fun and, and happiness. And yes. the, the process they're going through, the, my process is, is, is a, a, a school, uh, like an old school, but it's a bit radical. But people have lost those, uh, those skills or they can even think those simple ideas to work on cars because of the computerized the com- computers, because of the complex of the making cars, uh, those kit cars or handmade cars, the, those... Uh, Craftsmanship is gone, you know. Um, like um, if 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 I if I if I mention another another uh, program on TV right now going on in History Channel, the uh, uh, Forged in Fire. I love this program so bad. Like the 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 those swords or knives is to be made by hand. Now all production, right? People right. don't know how to how to make like from a, from a chunk of metal. You make it a sharp, nice uh, uh, a knife. A, a sword. People don't know about that. Hmm. It's built by hand. Same right. thing. My same thing. My this car. Uh, the work I'm doing. 
these are all old craftsmanship which make the world. Actually, the world started somewhere where everything has to be made by hand. But nowadays, it's all gone. And people have, doesn't have the, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, space in their brain to think. All because of the computer age, uh, uh, technological, technological age, they can't even think. They don't have the room or the, go, go back uh, back in time. Hey, this is, can be done by hand. Not the robots, not the car, not, right. the, not the store. You can buy it from the store. This is actually bringing back those skills. Is it, a lot of people say uh, in the History Channel, I mean, I've seen some forums. A lot of people disagree with the programs. So what, what kind of program is this? Is it history? Uh, what are you dealing with cars? Uh, are you, are you, uh, like, a lot of people don't understand the actual uh, the theme of the, the show is hand-built, which is, is that, that skills, those qualities are, are history. They're gone mm-hmm. from us. And we are the human being. We lost our ability to do something. We lost our ability to think something, which is very simple. The car today was built in hand in, 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 in the past. And now we, and people yeah, are, we are become more and more. Yeah. With each car you're making, We're becoming, I mean, you're, you're making history. Yes. I mean, actually, yes. The, this, this used to be in, in, in like 50 years ago, 100 years ago. People used to make everything, even the car, to make a knife. See how, how much skill do you need? A knife from a from metal, forge and, forge and fire. And a car, how, much, how many things are involved? Metal, welding, cutting, and then painting, and aesthetics, design, imaginations. You know, so many things involved in a car. It's, it's very complex, but it can be done in one man. And those abilities are gone from human brain. People have lost. As a human being, actually, we have lost our, our, our the most precious gift, which is imagination. Actually, be, be, imagination made this world. Imagination made everything. Rocket to a car to plane to rocket and everything. Imagination. Most of the people lost imagination. They can imagine anything. No. They, they only they can imagine, I can go to, buy, go to Sears and buy some tools. I can, go to Sears, I can go to that shopping center, buy that thing I, I want. That's all they can think. Yeah. That's it. Credit card. Was just nobody slide, has time. The card. They have the imagination, but they don't have the time, or they're scared to devote Same time thing. to that imagination. True. Yeah. So, you know, this is also, also it will inspire them to make, their, make some time for themselves. If you're not inspired, and uh, time, of course, is very tough, but you know, it's just not time itself, it's just not the imagination itself, it's the whole thing. You're the, the, the way you start thinking, the way the whole society or the culture or the, uh, the, the life has changed. Um, I mean, you know, just about think about now, we are trying to uh, balance the global, global, globalization uh, the uh, um, you know the, um, the, the the protect the nature industrialization actually actually gave us the the happiness gave us the life but because of the industrialization we have destroyed uh, the nature we're we're paying back we're trying to restore everything back again so gradually at some point we have to we have to go back a little further back in time and and start doing by uh, to, to recall the things or you know, we have to balance future and the past, history and the future. We have to balance it again to, to live a wonderful life in, in the world. Otherwise, just keep on going forward. Everything going back. For human being, it's dangerous. We, we'll be extinct pretty soon. Not too long. Yeah. It's not just because of cars. It's, it's the human involvement with hand, with the brain and imagination. Only keep on going forward. You got to look back too. Like you know, once you're driving cars, you don't just look at forward. You look back. You have got so many mirrors to look back. What's happening at the back? You know. So we have to look back, and of course we'll we'll keep keep an eye on the future. But we have to balance both. Then we can have wonderful. Only looking at the future. Well, I don't know. I don't want to live that life. I want to be a human being. Uh, will be able to do anything by by hand. My imagination makes me happy, and you know the happiness, the uh, the satisfaction. Uh, is, is, the, is the ultimate essential of, uh, essence of life, being alive. 
Right. If you lose that emotion, if you lose that passion, if you lose that uh, the, the thing called happiness, yeah, happiness, you can buy something uh, on the store. I mean, it doesn't matter how much it costs, it give you happiness. That's, a, that's an artificial happiness. There's something happiness which is, which soothes your my mind. Oh, beautiful, you know. You, you, you know, if you lose these instincts as a human being, we'll be done. We'll become yeah. robot. And we are. We are pretty much become a robot. It's, it's scary and sad at the same time. Yes. So it's not about the cars only. It's just about the skills, the, 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 the craftsmanship, you know, gives you back those uh, human um, uh, quality, which is like we have to have some time and we have to go back a little bit. We're going too fast. We're so fast uh, as a human race, so fast. Uh, I don't know what, what, what are we going to end up with. But one thing for sure, um, uh, technology is changing now. Electric uh, uh, power, but for the boot is coming good. Hydrogen is power. But design has to be aesthetics always there. Aesthetics is, is your, is your uh, is ultimate, is, is all, always be there. Technology will change. Engine will replace an electric motor, uh, which doesn't burn any uh, gas and doesn't, doesn't emit any carbon, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, or whatever. But, but it will, it's taking over electric motor. And uh, it will well, probably uh, some of the, the that technology will change in the future. But there will always been aesthetics. As a vehicle, yeah. you'll sit in there, and something has to surround you, and that has to look good all the time. How about too, like um, something I thought of, like watching like your show and the Count show is. W- would you like to see like a world? Like I mean, I know it's completely impossible, but. Um, like you, you look at cars, and you see all these cars that have gone on to the, to junkyard heaven. Wouldn't you be like mm-hmm. to be able to just take those cars and just rebuild them all into something and bring them back to life? Yes, of course. Yes, why not? That's what I like. I like I like restoring cars too. I, I told you, restoring cars and and especially those those are the part of the history. I mean. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to change those histories. 